we are <coughs> trying to work on what we have been studying and you know uh, trying to uh, articulate understand right so uh, what we have been doing mostly and, and many people have this uh, question that we have been working on it you know on these proposals for many years and we have you know understood them and we have accepted them but at there is problem you know, problem in the sense that when we go to live with it right many times i sleep right? many time i start doing things otherwise and this is very you know, uh, depressing many times very frustrating so what do we do so our answer to that is that we have articulated it in our thought we have accepted it on the basis of that articulation that it makes sense therefore it is true but we have not seen the you know, reality directly therefore our definiteness is not there we have now a new set of and preconditioning new set of beliefs right and there are other beliefs which are sitting down there in the self you know from past and therefore whenever there is a situation which is favorable to this you know feeling that we have or the assumption that we have from the past then those assumptions those preconditioning become active and i take the decision on the basis of those preconditioning and once i take the decision on the basis of those preconditionings my behavior and my work also starts showing up that so the basic problem is that i have been able to look at these proposals at the level of thought and accept it but we have not seen the direct the reality directly and therefore we are not very clear and definite about it and therefore the past and scars they still continue to prevail it is accumulated of past in the past accumulation of the feelings and thoughts that we had so the purpose of this exercise is basically to develop ourselves it develop our understanding and purify this you know accumulated sanskar accumulated desires and thoughts in you know, the feeding some thoughts so this is what we are trying to do and in that connection we said that in the very first course on uhb we had seen that for ensuring continuity of happiness which is the basic human desire right we have to have the right understanding in the self the right feeling and right thought in the self and the competence to live you know with mutual fulfillment with the world outside that is the right living that right? competence for right living and there again the major focus was in terms of right understanding in the self and right feeling and right thought in the self because if that is there then we will be able to express it outside in terms of right behavior and work so the focus is to ensure right understanding in the self right feeling and right thought in the self and if you look at these exercises that we are going to do you know, our purpose is also the same to ensure this right understanding in the self to ensure the right feeling and right thought in the self so that we can live with continuous happiness in the self so we said that this uh, you know is what we are aiming at ensuring right understanding in the self right feeling and right thought in the self then we said that if we want to understand things then we have to pay attention to it so three things we said that if we want to live you know rightly with anything we need to understand that thing number 1 number 2 if we have to understand it we have to pay you know we have to observe it we have to see it and if you want to observe it we want to see some reality then we have to pay attention to it 
So this basically is the process of understanding things, living properly with things. And it all begins with paying attention. So for example, if I have to live with a human being, I have to pay attention to that human being. Then I have to observe that human being. Then I have to understand that human being. And only then I can live with mutual fulfillment with that human being. So these for the first three steps <coughs> are important to pay attention, to see and to understand. And that is what we are going to do. <coughs> when you look at this paying attention, there are two important questions. One is, what is the object of attention? And second, what is the process of paying attention? So we looked into this. We have already looked into it in the first course in EHB. And we have found that ultimately, our relate, we are related to the whole existence. We are living at the level of self, to body, to family, society, nature, and ultimately the whole existence. Because we are related to the whole existence, we are living in this whole existence, things to be understood is the whole existence. And therefore, we have to pay attention to the whole existence. So this is one thing that we said. Second is, what is the way of paying attention? What is the process? So if you look at the process, it is very simple. I only have to decide that I have to pay attention. Right? I have to be aware of it. I we have to be conscious of whatever I want to understand. Right? So number one is being aware. And second is to evaluate without reaction. <clears throat> so I'm being aware of the other person right without any reaction this without any reaction is very very important because if we start generating reaction inside then we are seeing the reality with that color of reaction two things happen in fact when i am reacting i am unhappy within and number two when i am reacting and seeing thing observing thing then I am always seeing it with the color, color of my reaction. So the process of attention, paying attention is very simple. Number one, we just have to decide to be aware of it. We have to be aware of it. We have to be mindful of it. And second, we have to be aware of it, look at it without any reaction, without any reaction. And this is very important, very important. As we go on, we'll see, this is one of the most important things that we have to keep in mind. Number one, I have to be aware. And number two, I have to be aware without reaction. So you would realize that you have a lot of work to do because when you see something, you tend to react. Right? And it is so deep-seated in us, that it really takes time to you know, see that reaction and get rid of it. And in future, make sure that there will be no reaction. <clears throat> A long way. So we have to understand the whole existence by way of being aware of it and by being, way of not reacting to whatever observation I am finding. Right? When I am observing the reality, the whole existence. So if you have to understand the whole existence, <clears throat> again, we have seen that this whole existence is in the form of coexistence, which is in the form of units submerged in space. And these units are of two types, the material units and the consciousness unit. Therefore, what we need to understand and what we need to pay attention to, to understand is these three things. Number one is the consciousness, the self. Number two is the material. And one example of material unit is the body. And third is coexistence and particularly the space. So 
I have need to understand the whole existence because I am living in this whole existence. In order to understand, I have to you know, observe this existence. And in order to observe, I have to pay attention to it. So we'll pay attention to these three things. You know, consciousness units, the metal units, and particularly the body as an example of this metal unit. And then the co coexistence and particularly the space in that coexistence. So this three exercise is essentially this. Exercise one is to observe, to pay attention to the consciousness unit. Exercise two is paying attention to the material unit, body being an example. And exercise three is paying attention to the coexistence, in particular the space. And if you ask that in the process of observing, in the process of paying attention, who is the observer? Who is this here? Who is paying attention? The answer is simple. It is the self which is paying attention, right? which is observing, which is seeing, which is understanding, and not the body. So this should be clear. We'll come back to this you know, as we go on. But briefly, I'm just mentioning because I want you to connect to the exercise one and the step one, where you can start working today, you know, the whole day till tomorrow morning. And we can take reference of that to explain things further. So the self is the observer. Body is used as an instrument as and when required. This you can reflect on and decide. <clears throat> so if self is the observer, then basically the exercise will mean in exercise one, we are seeing the self by the self. In exercise two, we are seeing the body by the self. In exercise three, we are seeing the coexistence by the self. So this is what we intend to do. Right? Particularly, we'll work on exercise one and two. So, coming to exercise one, this is observing the self by the self. Right? That is looking within. There, uh, we had one saying that when we are working on this process, these methodologies, we should not think that this is the method. This is the, the process. Right? It is one of the process through which we can see the reality. One of the process. There have been many processes which we have people have used, right? And this is one of them. So this, uh, and even within this process, if you look at these exercises and you know the steps in the exercises and all that, you will find that. Even that is just one of the way of you know, dividing the time, dividing the opportunities, all this. So we will work on this observing the self by the self. That is exercise one. If you look at this exercise, we were asking this question that if I'm wanting to observe myself, how do we go, how do I go about it? And I said the simplest thing to do is to observe the imagination. So this imagination is going on all the time. So you just start paying attention to this, you know, imagination that is going on every time, every moment. In that context, we are asking this, that if I am looking at my imagination, imagination in the self, do I need to involve my eyes? Do I need to involve my body? Or I can see this imagination directly by the self. So ask this question and you will find this answer that yes, I can observe it directly. I don't have to take you know, help of the eyes because eyes I have to take help when I'm seeing something from outside. Similarly, I don't have to make use of the body. Okay. And if that is the case, then I can give rest to both the eyes and the body. 
and I can work with myself directly. So that is what we intend to do. But reflect on this. If there are questions, we'll take it up tomorrow. With this, now we have seven steps of exercise one that we will talk about. Today, I want to introduce this step one, which is very simple, but very important. So let's look at that step one. So step one is very simple. We are saying observing the self by the self through the self-awareness. Self-awareness. This is what I have to do in step one. I have to become aware of myself. And that's it. Aware of myself, aware of my imagination, aware of my desire, thought and expectation that is going on in the self. So this is all that I have to do in step one. Right? So you can start working on this. Some imagination or the other is going on anyway. Now you have to become aware of that this you know imagination that is going on. And as you go ahead, you will also be able to see that this imagination basically constitutes of my desire, thought, and expectation. Right? My desire, thought, and expectation. So I have to become aware of this. Right? My desire, thought, and expectation that is going on in me at this moment of time, and then next moment of time, and then every moment of time. So let me read this out. I, the consciousness, the self, am observing myself. Right? So I have to be aware of myself. Right? Because, and the, one of the simplest way of becoming aware of oneself is to be aware of the imagination. Therefore, I am observing my imagination at this moment. And this imagination constitutes of desire, thought and expectation. Or alternatively, you can see it constitutes of the feeling, the thought, the expectation. And all this is happening at the level of self. Now, what we are saying is that whatever is going on in the self, whatever is going on in the imagination, I just have to observe it. I just have to observe it without any reaction. So two things are important. Being aware of my imagination at this moment. And second, while I am being aware, no reaction. No reaction. So these are two things that we have to do under step one. Right? First part is be aware. Be aware of your imagination. Whatever is going on, right? A good imagination or a bad imagination, right? Crisis inside, crisis outside, all that is okay. Right? Whatever it is, I just have to be aware. I just have to be observant without reacting. So this is what we have to do from now onward till tomorrow morning. Just be aware of your imagination. Right. Don't evaluate it, that is better. But even if you evaluate, don't react to it. Don't react to it. So let's do this till tomorrow morning. Just being aware of myself, just being aware of my imagination. Just being aware of my desire, thoughts, and expectation at this moment. So this is what I had to place for your observation before I close for the day. So if there is any question on what I have, you know, suggested as exercise one, step one that is being aware of my imagination at every moment without reacting, without trying to remove it or trying to continue with it. Just be aware, things will get decided.
Yes. So this is what I would suggest from now onward till tomorrow morning. So till tomorrow morning we'll work on it. And if there is any question, we'll write it down and tomorrow we can ask. <coughs> so good. Now I'll open to question, either in Hindi or in English, right? Regarding this step one of exercise one. If there is any question about what to do, we'll take up. Other details we'll take up tomorrow. Because all these points I will keep explaining every day. So if there is any question, either in Hindi or in English, I would certainly like to respond. But it has to be focused on what I have to practice as a step one of exercise one till tomorrow morning. Yes, we have.